All right, y'all, what's up? This is The Drive Home, where we talk about movies or whatever we just did on The Drive Home. Tonight's movie was the limited screening for Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Uh, I think it had like three show times. And I gotta say, it was, it was a movie. Uh, so, oh, hang on guys, there's a cop trying to pull someone over up here. What's going on? Uh, hang on. I think I should go around them. Sorry guys, give me a second. Gotta get around this. Oh, there was a old fender bender. Um. Yeah. So watch the Jeepers Creepers. Like first one that was like the thing when I was younger. You know, we got the VHS tapes out at my friend's house. Made sure his parents were asleep. Popped that sucker in. And we were ready to roll, you know. It was one of those movies that was like kind of scary when I was a kid. I don't know how old I was. Probably like middle school or younger when it came out. Um, but I remember I was like, man, this is like legit spooky. I was like kind of shook. So then the second one came out. So like me and all the guys that we were friends with back then, you know, I think we probably, yeah, I think we all watched that one again too. And then I think Jeepers Creepers 3 came out and I was only friends with one of the people from that friend group of like four or five. So me and him went to the theaters to see it. And so now here we are. Jeepers Creepers Reborn. I don't know why they bothered re reborning it. Uh, it was, uh, well, I'll save that for the end. So basically the premise is uh, a guy and his girlfriend, he's super into horror and all the stuff, which like you guys probably are. Uh, so he's super into horror, takes his girlfriend who's like, you know, kind of just goes along with stuff, just wants to make him happy. And he's like freaking out over the place they go to, which is the, the creeper house. You know, they're all, all about this place in Louisiana about the creeper. He's big into creeper lore. They go to this big horror convention, uh, you know, where everyone's creepy and creeping. So then it turns out they end up winning, um, spoilers, they end up winning, uh, a trip to the Jeepers Creepers house. Which is like, okay, cool. So the whole time you think these people putting on the horror convention are like a part of this. Which kind of, but most of them are just oblivious. So they go to this house. Turns out there's like a cult that's trying to like feed the creeper to keep him immortal forever. Or something. And then... The whole like sub subplot is that the girl is the guy's girlfriend's pregnant, and so what these people think is they give the creeper this baby of hers that that'll make him invincible. Sure, uh, you know what? For most stuff, I will suspend my disbelief. I'll believe whatever I need to believe, but this shit was hokey. It was laughable. It had Netflix B-movie stink on it, which is good, you know? If you're going into this expecting it to be, you know, the next big thing, you will be mistaken. If you go into it wanting to just have a good time with your friends, laugh, and just start picking things apart, yeah, you'll have fun. Um, the conclusion of the film very open-ended, I must say. Um, I cannot imagine where they got the idea for that. Um, well, I can imagine where they got the idea from it, but I can't imagine why they thought to do that. So, you know, I said the, the girl was pregnant, the guy's girlfriend. So, at some point she gets captured and then stabbed by... Mr. Creeper himself, but then she escapes and nobody stops her at all. Um, sure, whatever. But then, so she's getting in the cop cars because you know the cops always show up at the exact end of horror movies. 
Um, and then while she's looking at the house and the reflection of the window of the car, her eyes do that like complete blackness thing like they do in movies like that. And I'm just thinking like, how the, like, did I miss something? Did he like fuck her? Did he get her pregnant? Like, what the fuck? Kind of came out of nowhere. But it, for me, I was like, well, how are you going to spend all this money to do a setup movie when the setup movie is a big stinker? I don't know. Uh, I'm not really home yet, but I don't have much more to talk about Jeepers Creepers. So we'll just pretend uh, that this red light is my house. All in all, if I have to give it a percentage out of, I don't know, everyone does fives, tens, or hundreds, I guess. So I'll just be along the same. I'll give it one Jeepers Creepers Ninja Throwing Star out of five, maybe? I don't know. If you can see the movie for free and you care about Jeepers Creepers to any capacity, you should probably watch it. If you have to pay even gas, if you have to use gas to get there, if you have to pay for a ticket, if you have to, I don't know, anything that involves goods, services, or money, you should probably not have to watch it. Uh, and that's it. I'm not going to make this bitch go that long. Creepers out.